Hi, welcome to another session of Dynamic Sketching. Uh, my name is Daniel Park and uh, we'll be reviewing some markers today. Um, so just to kind of review our materials just really quickly. Um, I'm actually using a high-tech um, 05 pen for today. Okay, I'm also using a Uniball Signo Broad pen, which will give me a white. This is a, actually a white pen. Um, the markers that I'll be using today, um, I have Copic markers. Instead of going with the pen straight in, uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the N0 and we're just going to be just markering in our basic form just really roughly. Um, this really helps a lot if um, you're a little nervous and you don't know how, you know, you don't want to really commit to putting down the pen. And the pen is going to basically dry out really light. You can barely see it there on the screen. But that's what I want. I try to use my markers like it's watercolor. So you can be very painterly with it. I think it works the best that way. Zoom in here a little bit. I'm gonna work on the head. And kind of get the pattern just just dialed in just a little bit more. What I like to do is um, because I'm using this marker, um, even if I mess up, it's really not that bad. Um, that's why I, I really enjoy doing this technique um, to accurately kind of just just to pick the the form and it really kind of takes a lot of the the tension out of your your drawing a lot of people kind of tend to tense up a little bit when they're drawing because you know they want to make it look perfect or whatever and what this does it kind of takes a lot of that it relieves a lot of that tension really out and it makes it <laughs> It makes drawing and rendering a lot easier. Um, it's my personal kind of take on things. And I also teach this um, in design as well to render with this technique. It really helps a lot of people. Going back over the core shadow, making that a little darker, punching that out. Now this final stage is really important because what we're doing is essentially we're just going back and and adding in that extra bit of punch. Okay. We're really kind of studying what's happening with with our object and just making choices, that's all I'm doing. Now most people do not actually even get to this phase because they just want to finish the drawing and move on. Um, but if you kind of just end up just taking your time, um, this is actually one of the best phases. Add a little bit of color to the feet. Okay, leaving some of these areas. Okay, not gonna fill in the whole thing. I'm gonna leave certain areas. Now that's supposed to mimic my highlight on the page. Now when you see a frog, since it's 
kind of sticky and it has this kind of wet look to it. What we're doing is we're mimicking the highlights from So it looks like it has a wet look. Keep on going with the outline. I'm really just trying to make sure that I don't overdo my ink work. Because what can easily happen is that this can look very heavy if you put too much ink basically too much um, too much black to be more accurate it can look very heavy so we want to give it definition but just enough Kind of punch out some areas. Especially the bottoms. The bottom area where it's making contact, where it's in shadow side. Just want to give it just a little bit more definition on that side. Okay. All right. So that concludes it for a color demo here. Okay. So what we did today is we did a black and white demo. Our baby turtle. Okay. And we did our baby frog here with our color swatches. All right. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in to uh, Dynamic Sketching and uh, hope to see you guys soon. Have a great one.